All right, hi guys. So today, basically, what I'm going to demonstrate is the um, various the performance of this Regal oscilloscope. So I recently acquired an Agilent um, 33120A function generator. Uh, thank you to Kyle Simmons at Agilent who, who helped me get this. So um, I'll basically show you some of the like the um, anti-aliasing of this oscilloscope, and we can try the the waveform update rate. I'm not really sure how to measure that, so ah, I might or might not try that depending on where we get to. So um, why don't we give it a try? So as in terms of waveforms, yeah, it displays all of them correctly. You have your measurements, um, overshoot. See, so you can take a look at this. So that's all standard. So what I what I'm interested in watching Dave's videos is the amplitude modulation. So if we turn AM on, on um, oops, sine wave, yes, of course. Can we take a look at it? All right. So we can actually see this. So I would say that yeah it passes the test. So anti-aliasing right now is on. Let me see if you can see that. No, can't see. Yeah, anti-aliasing is on. So I'm going to turn it off and we can take a look at what we get. So right now, um, it's not really as nice as A on, but it's certainly usable better, much better than that sibling crap I used to have. Oh, don't get me started on that. So yeah, so I mean, it passes this as well to auto, just like any other oscilloscope. It does not work for what we want it to do. Eh, but that's expected, so, well, can't complain there. So what's nice is recently we have been able to hack the um, oscilloscope up to 100 megahertz. So uh, we could go into utility, uh, system, system info. So if you'll see, let me zoom in on that for a second. Give me a second. So you can see that, yeah, we do have the DS1104Z when my oscilloscope is a 1074Z. That's quite nice, and as I said, I did use the keygen. Well, I am a very cheap person, and I am not about to spend $600 on the option code, so I hacked it. Well, that's it. And then um, there's also, we can use the function generator and generate a sweeping one. No, not that. No, look, overdrive. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. So what's an... A somewhat annoying feature of this oscilloscope is that there are two fun there are two frequency counters. There's a software one and a hardware one. Now, most people when using this are probably going to go to their first instincts. Menu, and let me turn mod off. Probably going to go into menu, and then frequency. So you get the frequency down here. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. Oh, I, I, I probably just have to zoom into that text and turn the bloody cursors off screen cursors. So basically, if you, if you yeah, we'll see. It's a one megahertz frequency right there. So that's that's all fine. But what happens if we if this if we do that? Nothing, correct? So that's the software frequency counter. What you want is the hardware one. So see in channel one. You can see the one meg counter up there. So this is an interesting aspect of the oscilloscope. And honestly, I'm not too sure why Regal designers bothered with this. I would have much preferred just to show me a hardware frequency counter at the same time. So in terms of waveform update rate, you can measure that. I haven't really figured out, but using the software one, eh, so I can hook this up. Let's turn another channel. To the um, to here, and yeah, I know my lab only has one BNC right now, so that is a big pain sometimes. So I will, I, I would have liked to hooked it up to the generator, so we can look. The BNC is hooked up, and the second panel's on. So if we look, we can actually see that right now. My volts per devout. So we're at around one eight kilohertz right now, and this is at the five nanosecond. Oh my god! 
I'm sorry, I'm not very experienced filming these. I haven't done this very much, so. Yeah, so let's get a nice big view of the screen. Already then. So, we're at 8,000, almost 9,000 waveforms per second at 5 nanoseconds per div and uh, piddly 30 points of memory. So, let's turn up the memory depth. Let's put it at 12 megs and bam, it falls. God, it's terrible. So, well, I guess that's so. I mean, I haven't yet found the sweet spot for this oscilloscope. Okay, look, we can, we're getting 12K now. Um, five, seven. So basically, waveform update rate, I'd say, is more than adequate. It's, it's, it's very nice. So, um, that's, I think that would be all for this video. Next video, I'm probably going to do something on the serial decode and triggering, which is awkwardly placed in the math menu. I much prefer Agilent's nice panel on the side with the, um, with the, what is it called, um, serial button. But I, th I believe you can do two decodes. And why do you even bo bother with a parallel when you can't decode parallel? Seriously, you don't have enough, you don't have the channel count to decode parallel. So I guess that was, but Regal's not really known for their software, so. Yeah, catch you next time, guys. Um, serial decoding and triggering next time. I'm going to have some more fun stuff planned. Thank you.